And joining me now are Ron Graham and Kelsey from Big Brothers Big Sisters. Welcome, guys. Hey, good afternoon. Thank you. All right, so we know that uh, like many and all agencies right here in Cornwall, uh, has been affected by COVID-19. So maybe let's uh, let's start with March, Ron. And when the first uh, when the news first came about COVID-19 and things shutting down, uh, how Big Brothers uh, responded and how it's affected the agency. Um, just like everybody else, we weren't sure how to respond, but we collaborated with other local agencies in the same boat. Um, we didn't know at first if we we're going to be able to rebound back from this. All their fundraisers were canceled. We got no government money. We rely on gatherings of people to make money. So uh, we had to look at different options. Um, and if it, I have to say, if it wasn't for the United Way stepping in and funding us, uh, Kelsey wouldn't be back full time right now. We'd have to wait till we generated some money. So we're very thankful to the United Way times two for their funding. I know there's some new COVID uh, money uh, funding that came in also. Absolutely. Uh, the work that the United Way and the Regional Emergency Response Council have done has uh, absolutely been excellent. And you alluded to, to Kelsey uh, being there full time. Uh, you're back in the office, Kelsey. So maybe talk about uh, as the office has been reopening, uh, what you've been working on and uh, how, uh, how the match program is working now. Yeah, back in the office, which uh, it, it was a big change. A big, uh, it was it, well, it is a big change. Uh, we're doing everything virtually now, um, and kind of had just gotten the ropes of doing it all, the just the job, and then COVID hit. But uh, so now everything yeah, is virtually. I do. Well, I'll be doing my interviews virtually for volunteers. I'll be doing match, um, making the matches virtually. Uh, I've been doing. I just actually before this got off a video chat with doing. Um, some monitoring virtually. I were, I I called a, a a guardian and their their granddaughter to do a check in on on that match. Um, every week I've been sending out virtual or sending out emails so my bigs can do virtual uh, mentoring because of COVID. Um, we we have been lucky with uh, national never really stop saying that we had to stop our visits just that we had to go by what our communities were doing. So we have had some bigs who have seen their littles still throughout this, just obviously at a social distance. Um, but some ideas that we have kind of shot out are going for bike rides. Um, there's awesome um, museums online that you can do virtual tours through and all that stuff. So it's just, it's a learning curve, but they're, they're being super, like my bigs and my volunteers are being great through all of this. And, and talk to me a little bit about the importance of that, Kelsey, because we know that uh, the relationship between mentor and mentee is, uh, is a strong bond and to have had it where they couldn't see each other at all or interact at all, not even in a, in a virtual forum, uh, would have an impact. I, I do. I do have some littles who are struggling. I, when I first got to come back, I was working from home a little bit and um, reaching out through email and everything. I had quite a few parents saying that their, that their child was struggling, which... So, well, I guess for me coming back when I did worked out really well because then I could start giving ideas to my bigs to do things virtually. So that way my littles could stop have, being stuck without them and start having that bond again. Um, they, I, and my bigs have been suffering too. I, the amount of emails and calls we got last week being like, can we go and see them yet? I just need a hug. Like it, it's, it's great knowing that it's not just helping the kids, but it's helping the bigs too, and that they care that much about their littles that they've missed them that much that they're asking permission to just go be able to go and see them. Absolutely. And of course, we know that uh, there's always been a, a waiting list at Big Brothers, unfortunately, as, as much as there are fantastic volunteers. Uh, now, how does it work if someone wanted to sign up for the program? Uh, can they do the all the intake process in a, in, a, in, a, in a virtual format with you or do they have to wait? No, they absolutely can do it virtually right now. Um, we I have been set up to do all interviews, all checks, everything online and, and through video chat. So my my kind of plug right now is there's no better time than right now if, if I guess things are starting to open, but we can do this all virtually. Mentoring is done virtually right now. So if you're sitting at home, why, why, why not help a kid? Because unfortunately my wait list has not shrunk at all with COVID. If anything, it's gotten bigger. So it would be a great time to to volunteer. Uh, absolutely. And of course, Ron, you alluded to uh, the, the generous uh, and great support from the United Way. Uh, but it's very important still for agencies to raise money. And Big Brothers, uh, of course, has been uh, uh, working on some fundraisers in the future. So what's coming uh, down the pipe, Ron? 
Um, I'm trying to keep my beard, Gabe, because uh, I got a fundraiser against <laughs> Dave. Um, Dave's going to shave his head, or I'm going to shave my beard. I think I, I think we're at about two thousand dollars, but I'm ahead of Dave, and it's looking like he's going to shave his head, which should be fun to see. So um, I did play the Santa angle. Don't disappoint the kids. Help me keep my beard. So that's a fundraiser. <laughs> We did have a bottle drive, was very successful. We had uh, Scotia Bank um, sponsor us, and uh, we're over a thousand dollars with that. But I've been also in touch with Value Village, big opening today. That's one of our major funders. If you have stuff to drop off, I encourage you to do it. They, they're expecting the overflow from from everybody cleaning their houses and their garage. So yeah. they're they're ready and they're working with you. Just got to confirm their hours. I believe it's eleven to four for now. Excellent. And uh, staple of the summer is the golf tournament as well. And it sounds like that will be a go this summer as well. Yeah, the format's going to be a little different. That should come out. We have our meeting tomorrow. It should come out on Thursday, all the information. We're going to contact all the teams that golfed in the past. And if you're interested, give us a shout here at the office and ask for Dave Murphy. And we, we have room for extra teams. So it's going to be a different format. We will be out there golfing and we will have things on the holes and our draws and it's going to be a fun and great day. And I think we'll be one of the first golf tournaments up and going there. So still, still like Cornwall Golf's been working with us to get this going. That's excellent news. And on that note, I'd like to thank you both for joining me and uh, providing an update on uh, the wonderful work that Big Brothers Big Sisters uh, is doing in our community and has been able to do uh, even in these uh, strange COVID-19 times. So thank you once again. Yes. Thank you. Thank Dave. you so much.